Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Rolex. A rolled chapati filled with eggs and vegetables, often enjoyed for breakfast or as a snack. Rolex is a popular and unique street food in Uganda that has gained recognition for its clever name and delicious combination of ingredients. Despite the name, Rolex has nothing to do with the luxury watch brand, rather, it's a rolled chapati filled with eggs and vegetables. This creative and satisfying snack is a staple among Ugandans and has become a cultural icon in the country's street food scene. Ingredients and Preparation The name, Rolex, is a play on words, rolled, and, eggs. The main ingredients for making Rolex include Chapati A soft, unleavened flatbread that is a common accompaniment to meals in Uganda. Eggs Eggs are scrambled and used as the protein component of the filling. Vegetables Sliced tomatoes, onions, and sometimes cabbage or other greens are added for a refreshing crunch. Seasonings Various seasonings and sauces, such as salt, pepper, and chili sauce, are often used to enhance the flavor. Steps Chapati a chapati is usually prepared first by rolling out the dough, cooking it on a hot griddle, and setting it aside. Eggs. Eggs are scrambled with seasonings until cooked to perfection. Assembly. The cooked chapati is spread out, and the scrambled eggs are placed on top. Sliced tomatoes, onions, and other vegetables are added. Rolling. The chapati is then carefully rolled around the filling, creating a wrap-like structure. Serving and enjoyment. Rolex is known for its convenient and portable nature, making it an ideal on-the-go snack or quick meal. It's often wrapped in paper or plastic to keep the contents secure. Rolex is commonly sold by street vendors, especially in bustling markets and near schools. It's a favorite among students, office workers, and anyone looking for a tasty and filling bite. Cultural Significance Rolex has become more than just a snack, it's a symbol of Ugandan ingenuity and resourcefulness. The name, which cleverly combines, rolled, and, eggs, highlights the simplicity and appeal of the dish. Rolex reflects the blending of local ingredients with creative preparation methods, resulting in a flavorful and accessible food that resonates with people from all walks of life. From street corners to busy markets, Rolex is a beloved and cherished snack that captures the spirit of Uganda's street food culture and culinary innovation. Chapati. A flatbread that's a staple accompaniment to many Ugandan dishes. Chapati is a popular flatbread that's enjoyed across various countries in East Africa, including Uganda. It's a versatile and staple accompaniment to meals, often served with stews, curries, or used as a wrap for various fillings. Chapati has become an integral part of daily meals and street food offerings in Uganda due to its soft and flaky texture. Ingredients and Preparation The ingredients for making chapati are simple and commonly available. Flour all-purpose flour is the main ingredient used to make chapati dough. Water. Water is added to the flour to form a dough. Oil or ghee. A small amount of oil or ghee is added to the dough for flavor and to create layers during cooking. Salt. Salt is added for seasoning. Steps. Mixing. The flour is combined with a pinch of salt and oil or ghee. Water is gradually added to form a smooth and pliable dough. Kneading. The dough is kneaded until it becomes soft and elastic. Resting. The dough is covered and allowed to rest for about 20 to 30 minutes. This resting period helps relax the gluten and makes the dough easier to work with. Portioning. The dough is divided into smaller portions, typically around the size of a golf ball. Rolling. Each portion of dough is rolled out into a thin, round disc using a rolling pin. Some oil or ghee may be brushed on the surface to prevent sticking. Cooking. The rolled-out dough is cooked on a hot griddle or skillet. It's cooked briefly on each side until it puffs up slightly and develops a golden brown color. Serving and enjoyment. Chapati is commonly enjoyed with a variety of dishes. Stews and curries. It's often served as a side dish with meat, vegetable, or lentil stews and curries. Beans and rice. Chapati can be paired with dishes like rice and beans. Wraps. It's also used as a wrap for fillings like eggs, vegetables, and meats, creating a quick and convenient meal. Cultural Significance Chapati is not only a food but also a symbol of communal dining and shared moments. It's a versatile accompaniment that can be enjoyed with both traditional and modern dishes. Whether at home, in restaurants, or from street vendors, chapati is a beloved part of Ugandan cuisine, reflecting the country's cultural diversity and the joy of savoring delicious and wholesome food.
Roasted corn. Corn on the cob roasted over an open flame, often served with salt or spices. Roasted corn is a simple and delicious street food enjoyed in many parts of the world, including Uganda. It's a flavorful and satisfying snack made by grilling or roasting ears of corn over an open flame until they're cooked, slightly charred, and infused with a smoky flavor. Roasted corn is often seasoned with salt, butter, or spices, enhancing its natural sweetness and creating a delightful combination of flavors. Preparation. The preparation of roasted corn is quite straightforward. Selecting corn. Choose fresh and mature ears of corn with the husks still intact. The husks help protect the corn from direct heat and retain moisture during the roasting process. Husking. Remove a few outer layers of husk, leaving a few inner layers intact. This exposes the corn kernels while still keeping some husk to protect the corn during roasting. Seasoning. Some vendors may brush the corn with a little butter or oil before roasting to enhance the flavor and prevent sticking. Additionally, salt and spices can be added for extra taste. Roasting. Roasting corn is typically done over an open flame, grill, or barbecue. Open flame. The corn cobs are often roasted directly over an open flame, such as a charcoal fire. The cobs are turned occasionally to ensure even roasting and to prevent excessive charring. Grill or barbecue. Roasting can also be done on a barbecue grill, rotating the corn to achieve even cooking. Serving and enjoyment. Roasted corn is often enjoyed as a snack or light meal. It's commonly sold by street vendors, especially in busy markets or along roadsides. The roasted corn cobs are usually served hot and may be presented with the husks partially peeled back for easy handling. Seasonings. Roasted corn can be served with a variety of seasonings and toppings. Salt. A sprinkle of salt enhances the corn's natural sweetness. Spices. Some vendors offer a mix of spices like chili powder, cayenne pepper, or paprika for an added kick. Butter. A pat of butter can be rubbed onto the hot corn to add richness and moisture. Cultural significance. Roasted corn holds a special place in street food culture as a simple yet flavorful treat that brings people together. It's often associated with communal gatherings, outdoor events, and leisurely moments. In Uganda and beyond, roasted corn captures the essence of enjoying the bounty of the land and the pleasures of savoring a natural and comforting snack. Street chicken. Grilled or fried chicken pieces sold by street vendors, often seasoned with local spices. Street chicken refers to grilled or fried chicken that's often sold by street vendors in various parts of the world, including Uganda. This popular street food offers a flavorful and convenient option for those looking for a quick and delicious meal on the go. Street chicken vendors typically prepare and cook the chicken right on the street, attracting hungry customers with the enticing aroma and the promise of a tasty treat. Preparation the preparation of street chicken can vary, but it generally involves the following steps. Cleaning and marination. The chicken pieces are cleaned and marinated with a mixture of herbs, spices, and seasonings. The marinade helps infuse the chicken with flavor and can include ingredients like garlic, ginger, chili peppers, lemon juice, and a blend of spices. Grilling or frying. Street chicken is typically either grilled or fried. Grilling involves cooking the chicken over an open flame or barbecue while frying involves deep frying the chicken in hot oil until it's crispy and golden brown. Basting. During the cooking process, the chicken may be basted with additional marinade or sauce to enhance the flavor and keep the meat moist. Serving and enjoyment. Street chicken is often sold by vendors in local markets, busy streets, and near popular gathering spots. It's usually presented on skewers, in paper cones, or in containers, making it easy for customers to enjoy while walking or standing. Accompaniments. Street chicken is often served with a variety of accompaniments and sides. Sauces. Different types of sauces and condiments may be offered, such as chili sauce, ketchup, barbecue sauce, or tangy yogurt-based sauces. Salads. Fresh salads, coleslaw, or vegetable sides can complement the chicken. Bread or chapati. Some vendors offer bread or chapati alongside the chicken to make a complete meal. Cultural significance. Street chicken is not only a delicious snack but also a social experience. It's often enjoyed by people of all ages, whether it's students looking for a quick bite, office workers on a lunch break, or families enjoying a meal outdoors. Street chicken vendors create a lively atmosphere where people can gather, enjoy good food, and connect with their community. In Uganda, as in many other places, street chicken exemplifies the accessibility, diversity, and flavors of street food culture, 
reflecting the local culinary preferences and the joy of sharing delicious meals in informal settings. Boiled maize. Maize, corn, boiled and served with a side of spicy sauce. Boiled maize is a simple and satisfying street food enjoyed in Uganda and many other parts of the world. It consists of corn on the cob that is boiled until it's tender and cooked through. Boiled maize is often seasoned with salt, butter, or other condiments to enhance its flavor, creating a tasty and comforting snack. Preparation. The preparation of boiled maize is straightforward. Selecting maize. Choose fresh and mature maize on the cob. The corn should be fully developed but not overly mature. Husking. Remove the outer husks and silk strands from the corn cobs, leaving the kernels exposed. Boiling. Place the corn cobs in a pot of boiling water. The corn is cooked until the kernels are tender and easily pierced with a fork. Seasoning. Once the corn is cooked, it's often served with seasonings. Common choices include salt, butter, and other optional condiments. Serving and enjoyment. Boiled maize is often enjoyed as a snack or light meal. It's typically sold by street vendors, especially in bustling markets, along roadsides, and at local events. The boiled maize cobs are usually presented with the husks pulled back, making it easy for customers to hold and eat. Variations. While the basic preparation involves boiling the maize and adding seasonings, some variations exist. Spices. In addition to salt and butter, some vendors may offer additional seasonings like chili powder, paprika, or herbs. Lemon or lime. Squeezing lemon or lime juice over the boiled maize can add a tangy flavor. Grilled. Some vendors may first boil the maize and then finish it on a grill to give it a slightly smoky flavor. Cultural significance. Boiled maize is more than just a snack, it's a comforting and nostalgic treat. It's often associated with leisurely moments, social gatherings, and outdoor events. Whether enjoyed while strolling through a market or during a friendly chat, boiled maize captures the essence of simple, wholesome street food that resonates with people of all ages.